What is up guys, it's time for gaming here. This is going to be a video for most of you guys who are on PC and you play Fortnite. So my PC is good, mostly. Even my 3060 um, RTX graphics card and I, an i Core 7 processor. If you guys love Fortnite and you still want 120 FPS, but if you guys want to record or or whatever, <coughs> or generally you just want more FPS, I usually have 120 to uh, between 120 and 160 when I played normally with the sense I used to have. I never played this new season, so I haven't really um. I didn't really see, but what you guys do is, you go to the Epic Games here, you right click on Fortnite, then go to Options, I wish Options were for other games here as well, but um, just go to Options, if you guys um, got a very good PC and you do set normal FPS, what you guys have already, just um, Sorry about the background, it's shown up all fuzzy, it's because I still got my green screen thing connected, um, but I don't have a green screen up. Equip this, pre-download stream assets. All I heard is, um, you know the liveries of your gun, the live ones, what moves, even the ones that don't, um, and people, other players. Apparently just downloads them and stores them in their actual storage, so it doesn't download them or stream them like what it says here while playing gameplay. It makes you lose more internet and probably even more FPS. It makes you drop it. Direct X12 shaders. I turn that off because I had this off before I found this but um, I used to play with it on a long time. Turn this off because it, for me I don't really see any difference High resolution textures. If you guys um, just trust me on this, yes, quality is a lot more better. But from when I first used it and when I first changed these off, I don't really tell the difference much. So turn this off. Um, if you guys don't save the world or and that on, just press apply. If you don't have that, um, that access one um it's on to the download before you launch the game <coughs> go to manage after you apply them and done the download press verify files so make sure it downloads them and it does this it should be very fast I also don't know if you do that's gonna pop up for Call of Duty to how to boost FPS. Well, it's not technically boosting, but mm. okay. Um. So another thing is, I got this here Razor Four text, and it actually is pretty good. I had this for. A while now, not too long, but it stood. It doesn't cost money. You could um, what you do is it when you automatically auto boost it when you play a game. It um enables this and uh, like disables half of this stuff. So um, Tortana. Even if you have on your PC, just put this on Windows T. So if you're playing win um a game on your son, if you accidentally press the Windows T, it will not put it will nothing will work. But if you press Alt and Tab to go off to your second monitor or something, like that works. But problems clean RAM. Basically, every time you launch this, it clean cleans the RAM. Play clipboard. Um. There's a bunch of other things here as well. You can um do but then there's this here system clean i haven't done this for two days it's uh it cleans all your junk files and that most 
FPS boost videos you look up on um YouTube tells you to go to your run the um, run thing and top the app there and delete a bunch of um drunk trials there. I'm not sure if this technically works. I guess it does because every time I do this it cleans up around around two three gigabytes of drunk files, recycle bin, browser drunk files and all of that. <coughs> How to select this done before it, when you see it's a hundred percent, you just um, press clean. See one point four gigs, twenty eight items. See ten files. That's um the main. Then you just press done. If for some reason your um if you use this and your game booster doesn't press on, you just press the boost now. But if it does, um, how oh, I just launch um the game after you do all of those settings. So I'll just play the game after changing these settings, and I'll send two forty FPS. Let's say it's a three sixty FPS option, but the last time I put that on, I obviously didn't do that much FPS, but it, it was unstable. I don't know if it the fifth. And now you can see down here. That um that RAM boost didn't come up. Uh -huh. I don't know if I'm done at the two forty. Um, while recording, hopefully I do. Also, it shows 120 here, but when you actually play, but you can also, um, before you go into a private, um, creative or whatever it is by yourself, make sure you change these settings. The I got 240. Most people say just put the one, um, see my monitor's 180 hertz, and well, he says put one above, but I'm not put 240. I don't know. It's up to you how you want it, but even for Call of Duty, my screen did have like this tearish. So, um, <clears throat> make sure you're full screen on that. Facing off, apparently, it does nothing. I don't know if it, um, does anything. It says here screen tearing for or something. It's up to you. Try it out, turn it on and off. Render a moon. Turn to, to performance low grade um fidelity. Um, <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, when you t um when you change that, you know, it's gonna force you to restart the game. Make sure you put the 3D resolution on a hundred percent. Turn that off. Oh wait. You can't turn it on or off because you need to turn it left F12. Distance through texture, um, mesh, meshes, um, meshes, flow, show if you want that on. Everything else is, um, nothing to do with these graphics settings. You guys can always, um, also test these out after you get the FPS you want to step. So, say for textures. After you do it, 240 or whatever you want it to. If you want to lose a little more FPS, then turn them on. But um, for me, it seemed normal. I'll just show you guys what I mean by the um, game. <clears throat>
So this has been my actual second game playing since this <laughs> Bill might look a little bit different, but it does support. See how much I'm down, like 200 pretty much right now. I definitely cannot get down as good in the sense that you have on. It's up to you if you guys want to turn intro on It's meant to sync your, uh, look at that Your monitor Yes, more See, as you can see right now, I'm doing almost 240 That's Oh, you guys might get as much as I am, but, uh That will be better So, no, it could be better or worse This. Oh no, this is a dripping one, never mind. Oh, we like the air bend bending one. I see can move around faster. Oh, I thought that this one does. Okay. I wonder how you, far you can throw that or anything else. Should have um, had a blast radius, a little blast area radius for how I hit the ground. I like the airbend a little bit because you can use the. Uh, 
is pretty good this one but I prefer the air band steps I will book this fucking uh I said if you guys set more than 240 or if you're too far slide, if you're a better computer, just um go ahead and upgrade your graphics if you want to. But for me, I, I don't really mind the graphics I did. As soon as as long as it's free um 3D resolution up to hundred percent, pretty much all fine. As long as, uh, so as long as you don't play Shadowcon, you will have, you'll have um, high FPS. And this will be the end of the video, I'm going to start uploading it. But I don't mind um, internet browse up, so if I close it, I'll probably get even more solid FPS and add a bunch of other things up as well. So... This is gonna be the end. Leave a like, subscribe, and um, comment if it doesn't help you. If it doesn't, I. Uh, 
that's the part of the game, the old calendar thing. Okay, but if it doesn't work, I don't know what would with your computer, but even if you get a lower computer than I do, it should help much more. 